Hello, my name is Joel Miller. I am currently a master's student at Air Force's Institute of Technology, where I am researching automated aerial refueling. The purpose of this video is to talk about minimizing the errors induced by occlusions for ICP. Automated aerial refueling requires tracking targets in real time, as well as finding the position and orientation, or pose, of the receiving aircraft so the boom can be guided into the receptacle. One algorithm that does part of this is the Iterative Closest Point Algorithm, or ICP for short. This works by finding a nearest neighbor for every point in one sensed point cloud to a reference point cloud. A rotation and translation is applied, and the process repeats until the points converge to each other. Any data fed into ICP's algorithm that does not contribute to finding the pose of your truth model significantly decreases the six degrees of freedom that ICP calculates. One example of this is a poorly calibrated camera or stereo cameras. This produces many outlier points that must be filtered. The solution to this problem can be solved by just using a simple Gaussian filter which rejects points that are some standard deviation away from the normal. Similar to the outliers, ICP also struggles with occlusions, or objects that obstruct the view of the model you are trying to find the pose. Points generated by these occlusions need to be properly filtered, otherwise ICP's convergence will be a union of the receiver's points and the boom's points. The solution to this problem is to filter out these points before they are fed into ICP. Most of these filtering techniques involve segmenting the data which the data referenced are the three-dimensional points that are uniquely identified using OpenCV's stereo block matching method. One of these segmentation techniques is called k-means, which can be used to segment points into k number of clusters. This works very well when there is a clear delineation between point clusters. However, k-means can sometimes break down because the algorithm needs the k-defined a priori in order to separate the points into its appropriate group. Another problem with k-means is when the receiver aircraft makes contact with the boom and there is a contiguous set of points that is seen by the stereo vision cameras. The most promising technique that is currently working well is a derivative of the sample consensus library called Random Sample Consensus, or RANSAC for short. Our RANSAC model is defined by a Euclidean plane that closely matches where the object you are tracking appears in the refueling window. Points sensed on the boom have the pitch of the boom and are thereby filtered out because it does not match the plane of the receiver aircraft. Using the RANSAC technique improves accuracy of ICP's convergence to obtain centimeter accuracy in position and less than a degree in rotation. Now that we've established that this filtering technique works in a virtual environment, we can now test it in an augmented reality world. Our lab has a motion capture chamber that tracks targets using tracking markers that produce millimeter accuracy to be used as truth data. We set up the exact same scenario as in the virtual world with the same relative geometry. However, since our lab can't fit a full-size aircraft inside, we use a 1 7th scale F-15 and implement an augmented boom to occlude the aircraft to simulate a semi-realistic test. Before testing in the lab though, we first simulated in the virtual world with the 1 7th scale aircraft. We had to increase our resolution to 4K to match the resolution of the stereo cameras located in our lab, as we were previously using 720p camera resolutions. The virtual world produced very good results with millimeter accuracy, even with occlusions and the 1 7 scale aircraft. We then tested the RANSAC algorithm in our lab and observed good results with the centimeter level accuracy. However, there are many problems that arose during our tests that need to be addressed. First is the issue of receiver scaling. When scaling a model to 1 7 scale, we observed in the virtual world that the rotational and translational errors are significantly less than a full-scale model. After investigating, it was found that because the truth and sense models do not have perfect correspondences, the root mean square errors scale with the size of the aircraft. This means that smaller objects will have lower errors than larger objects. Additionally, we observed complications with transparent objects. The transparent canopy usually consists of a large portion of what the stereo cameras see in a refueling scenario. 
Sense points can occur both on the canopy and inside the cockpit, as well as reflections, glinting, and other non-rigid objects like pilots. Any transparent object cannot be included in the truth model due to these inconsistencies. Compounding this issue is the armament of the aircraft. Many fighter aircraft have changing armament loadouts that can change from mission to mission or after an engagement. This changes the truth model and must be accounted for. Different factors affect the outcome of ICP, but many of these factors are not consistent among different receivers. That is to say, there is no one algorithm fits all, and each receiver needs to be customized with a specific filter and settings. In summary, outliers and occlusions negatively affect ICP. These can be mitigated with certain filters, however, these must be customized to a specific receiver. A potentially better alternative to pose estimation would be a machine learning based method. Thank you for your time, and we hope you have learned more about ICP in the automated aerial refueling domain.